Good morning, and it is Gratitude Friday. What are you grateful for? That might be a nice preponderance of the day, starting the day with some gratitude, some grace, what you're excited about, what you're so blessed to have in your life. So, story time today on Gratitude Friday. See, one day there was this wizard, and he was doing his wizardly duties. He's walking around being a wise old wizard, and he, he notices that this young chap is following him and he's going, oh, this guy's he obviously wants something. And uh, so he says, okay, well, uh, let me let me take care of it. How can I help you, my son? And he's like, I want what you have. And he's like, ah, I have wealth. I have uh, all these wonderful things, but I will, I will share. So he takes his finger and he waves. He sees a cat and he, he waves at the cat and poof, he turns the cat into solid gold. So he walks over and he picks up the cat, the golden cat, and he hands it to this young man, and the wizard goes off to do his thing. And as the wizard is walking, he notices this gentleman carrying the cat and following along. And he says, oh, young, young sir, how can I help you? And he says, I want something. And he says, ah, the cat's not enough. Okay, he sees a dog across the street there, a wild dog. He's both wild, these aren't pets. And uh, so he sees the wild dog and waves his finger, turns it into solid gold dog. And he walks over to the dog, he picks it up and he hands it to the, the young man and he says, here you go, sir, have a blessed day. Goes off walking on to do his wizardly duties. And as he's walking along, he notices the gentleman following him, holding both the cat and the dog. And he's walking along behind them and if he stops again, he says, uh, good sir, you know, how can I help you? And he says, I want something. And he says, well, all right, I gave you a solid gold dog. I gave you a solid gold cat. Uh, he goes, ah. And he sees old, that lapidated house. It's been broken down. Looks at it, waves his finger. Poof. Turns it into a beautiful mansion made of solid gold, but turns it into this wonderful thing. And he says, here you go, my son. I've given you a golden cat, a golden dog. And now this golden house. And he begins to walk off. And as he's walking along, he notices the guy's still following him. And he says, what else can I give you? What else do you want? And he says, aha. He goes, I want your finger. Is it possible that sometimes we're so busy looking for someone else to provide for us. We're looking for someone else's ability to create something for us. When the truth is, what the wizard really was showing him was what was possible. Everybody has that magic finger. Everybody has the ability to create. Everybody has the resources within. Maybe it's time that we be grateful for everything we've got all the resources we have available to us, and then take actions ourselves to grow and add value rather than expecting someone to provide. And something interesting will happen when you start being super grateful for what you already have, the resources that are within your reach, the strength, the power, the confidence. We no longer need to receive exclusively, we can now give, become a reciprocal experience where we're adding value to others by our positive actions, by our positive momentum, by sharing who we are, by sharing our core, by sharing our authentic, genuine self. So hopefully that was a wonderful thought for the day and go ahead to urockspeaking.com if you're ready to start growing your business through speaking, through presenting, through sharing your story or others. You mix them all together and you create magic. Everybody has the magic within. It's time to rock it for us all. All right. So I love you for who you are and who you aren't. God bless. And we will see you on Monday. All right. See ya.